What is going on guys, it's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create um, a gradient to uh, text or how to apply a gradient to text in Photoshop. And it's really easy to make and it doesn't really take any skills whatsoever to do this. So first, of course, make sure you have an image imported into Photoshop. If you don't know how to do that, simply go over to File and go over to Open or the shortcut command O or control O for a PC. So once you have imported your image and added some text to it, whatever it is, in this case I put uh, sunshine rabbit because uh, this is uh, <laughs> this person in a rabbit or a bunny suit, whatever you want to call it with the sun facing down. So that's pretty cool. Um, so what I want to do is I want to add a, I want to add a gradient to sunshine and rabbit. So to do this, it's very simple. So um, <laughs> all you have to do is make sure you right click on the text and you rasterize it. So press rasterize uh, type, right? Yeah. So rasterize type. So now we're gonna hold down Command and then we're gonna click inside right here and that will select uh, make a selection of our word which is sunshine see um, if your word is not rasterized this is what's gonna happen if you press command and you press T it won't uh, apply the effect so if I press G you can see um, when we come over to the gradient tool it's gonna say could not uh, use the gradient tool because the pixels in a type layer cannot be edited without first rasterizing the layer so that's why you have to rasterize it first so if you're going to be applying a gradient to your text, make sure you rasterize it, rasterize it first by going uh, to your layer and right-clicking and selecting Rasterize Type. So now they're both rasterized, so that means it's pretty much uh, you can't customize it anymore. You can't, if you go to the text tool, you can't um, like change the word or anything. It acts as its own layer, like a picture layer, so if that makes any sense. So now once we've done that, we're going to press V on our keyboard, so it's our move tool. We're going to go ahead and hold down Command or Control if you're on a PC and click the layer right here. Make sure you don't click on this because that's just going to deselect it. So just click on this right here. And then we're going to go over to the Gradient tool. So the Gradient tool is in your Tools palette over here. It's under the Eraser tool. So it's going to look kind of like this. If yours is with the Paint Bucket tool, simply click and hold. And that will uh, allow you to easily switch between the tools. So Gradient tool is what we want. If we click over here on the top left, you're going to see a little box, and that's going to bring up the gradient editor. Within the gradient editor, you can go ahead and change the colors to whatever you want. In this case, I um, chose uh, like a hot pink with red at the end, so that gives it a really cool, um, nice uh, gradient. So if you want to go ahead and use the ones I'm using right now, just copy this. The hex code for the for foreground color would be FF. 4066 click OK and then the red uh, hex code or the value is going to be FF 412 B so cool so press OK uh, again you could customize to whatever you want if you want to load gradients uh, somebody asked me how to import gradients or how to use gradients I think I made a video on that uh, I'm not sure but if you go over to load uh, this will open up uh, it will allow you to import uh, Photoshop documents um, or files, files that will allow you to uh, select your um, gradient. So if you downloaded a gradient pack, you could select it, and then it will import them all into here, and you could select it individually. You could also make a new gradient by naming it pink and then red or slash red. So I click new, and then every time I want to use the, this gradient without changing the values, I can just simply click on it. So now I'll click OK, and let me go ahead and zoom in right here. So you can see sunshine, and we have our gradient tool. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna make a gradient from left to right. If you look in the top left, you're gonna see it's linear. So linear is gonna look like this. All right. Um, so whatever you do, like if I were to do it out here, um, it would just take place within our selection. Uh, of course, we want to do it within our selection so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and click and hold down shift. This will keep everything in a straight line and everything at a 45 degree angle, you know, 90 degrees, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. So here is the gradient we just applied. Um, if we were to do a radial, hold down shift, it's going to look something like that. So it changes it uh, a little bit, not too much, but it makes it look a little bit cool. 
So I like linear, I like the way it looks, and I'm gonna press Command D. So now it's gonna look like that, sunshine. So it goes from pink to red. Um, if you wanted it to go from red to pink, you could simply click and drag right here, the color stopper. Uh, the first one, we can just click and drag and drag it to the middle. And our last one, we're gonna, uh, our last color stop, we're gonna drag that to the front. So now they're flipped like this. So now if we click OK, I'm going to do the same thing, so we'll hold down shift, click and drag, it's going to shift, whoops, make sure we select it, so command, okay, so shift, click, and then let go, it's going to switch the directions. So I'm not going to do that, I like it the way it is, and then you can see rabbit. So that is really cool, now if I want to do the same thing with rabbit, same thing, click on, on our text layer, press command or control on a PC, click the little box, it's going to make a selection around the text because we rasterized it and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing shift and click uh, to the right again you can do it however you want you don't have to do it to left and right you could do it up and down if you want to uh, I don't want to do it that way um, so I think this looks really cool um, it went from red to pink I think that's a little stylish um, but I kinda like it the other way around so I'm gonna go from pink to red so it kind of stays within the same color pattern. Cool, so now this is how our image looks like. So that's how you apply text to gradients. Now you could do this with any picture or anything that you're gonna be wanting to add a gradient to text. What you're pretty much doing is you're just making a selection of the object. So if I were to hold on command and click, you could do that. Or if I were to make a selection of a rabbit here, the person <laughs> dressed as a rabbit, with our pen tool, we would make selection, right? So, I don't know, let's let's do this really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger. By the way, I'm using the quick selection tool. And I'm just gonna make a quick selection, whoops, of our rabbit here. Make sure you don't select everything. Wow, okay. Let me select this right here. Don't know why it does that. So, quick selection, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is just like a really rough draft of what we're doing here because I'm just showing you guys. So if we were to make this as a selection um, of our rabbit, so now since it's a selection and we press G on our keyboard and you could do the same thing, shift and then drag and then kaboom, there goes our, um, what do you call it, our rabbit. So it pretty much grabs um, whatever is in the selection you're going to be applying a gradient or you're filling it with it doesn't matter it's just you know basic um, Photoshop stuff <laughs> so yeah I'm going to duplicate this so I'm gonna right click with our what is it quick selection tool right and we're going to make a copy of this onto another layer that way we could hide the background so we're gonna go layer via copy now if we hide the background it's gonna look like that and then we're going to create a new uh, layer. We're going to fill it with white, so press X. That's going to make our foreground color white. Option delete or alt delete. Make that in the background and kaboom, there you go. I know it looks really bad. That's a rough draft, so um, yeah. So if this helped you in any way, then please leave uh, a rating below. That will be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.